In this episode of Last Epoch Explained, we're going to be going over just how overpowered stats are and why they're so overpowered. So let's check it out. Here we have the level one primalist and here in the character screen, we have the stats, your resistances, defenses, different tabs for all your different various attributes. So let's quickly go over what each stat does. Every point of strength gives you 4% armor. Every point of dexterity gives you four flat dodge rating. Every point of intelligence gives you 4% ward retention. And each point of attunement gives you two flat mana. And each point of vitality gives you six flat mana and 1% poison and necrotic resistance. We'll go over why armor, dodge rating, and ward retention are so important and why they're so valuable to a build's survivability in Last Epoch in another video. However, for now, we'll just talk about why the stats scale up your skills and the general strength of your character so much. If we go to the skill system area, we can hover over any of the skills that a class has access to. And you'll notice at the bottom here, it says scaling tags. Summon Wolf, for example, has scaling tags of minion, companion, and strength. So anything that gives you bonuses to minions, companions, or the strength stat will scale the wolf and how effective they are. Now to see exactly what it scales, you can hold down the alt key and it shows you right there exactly. Every point of strength that also increases your armor by the way, and increases your own damage on the skills that you'll be casting yourself, they get eight flat health per point of strength and they also get 4% damage per point of strength. And you'll see that with almost every single stat in the game, most skills in the game gain 4% damage from the stat that they scale off of. Sometimes you'll see other parts of the skill that get scaled up, like in this case, the base health of the wolf gets scaled up. Let's go down here to Eter's Blessing. This scales off of the attunement stat, and when we hold down alt, we can see that it gains mana efficiency and healing effectiveness, meaning it will cost less mana and it will heal more based off of how much attunement that you have. Now let's take a look at the passive tree to show alternative ways that stats can scale you as well. There are some instances in the game that allow you to scale more attributes for your character based off of the stats that you get. And in this case, on the Harmonious Wisdom passive, every five points of attunement your character has, you gain 3% crit avoidance. Now without any debuffs, even in the late game, if you have 100% crit avoidance, your character can never be critically striked. So in this case, if you have around 170 attunement on your character and you have this passive in particular, you will never be crit while you're playing Druid. And in the late game, that makes a big difference to your survivability. Now there are a lot of different ways in the game of Last Epoch to alternatively scale another attribute based off of your base stats. And there are several passives in the game that do this and for each class, and there are several unique items in the game that do this, and they all do it in ways that you probably wouldn't have thought of yourself. And it's extremely satisfying and it's extremely fun to just discover all the different ways that you can scale up characters in Last Epoch, just based off of your stats and not even anything else. And we, we haven't touched on anything else yet. The stat system somehow, I've never seen it done this way, but it just makes sense. But to fully understand just how overpowered stats are in Last Epoch, we're gonna have to talk about armor, dodge rating, ward and ward retention, resistances, and then also a couple of the things that haven't been mentioned yet. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one or the previous one.